Well hi everybody, I just want to show you what I'm doing at the moment. I'm kind of working on this large A2 commission, of a dog obviously, <laughs> not that you guess that. Um, I'm using my old brush, now if you remember this is one I've, I've been, well I've told you about before where it's an old brush which I was about to throw in the bin and I thought, oh hang on a minute, I could do with working out a method of trying to do quite a few lines in one go. And um, This is ideal for doing the underlaying details if you know what I mean, so the first one or two layers of detail before you put the final layer on the top and use this method. It's great for getting three or four lines in one go. So if I just kind of reload that a minute for you, you see what I mean? So I can get quite a lot of lines in one go here for the face, the first, as I say, first and second layers. Um, the only thing with something like this is that they can be far too symmetrical. Um, so that's why I do the final layer with the normal kind of detail brush. If you remember, that's my double zero, which is this one here. So Windsor Newton Cotman series one one one, and um, as I say, double zero in size. So I'd use this method, as I say, for the first one or two layers of detail, and then I'd kind of lightly wash in between each layer as I go along. But it does help. It kind of helps build up for the, especially a large portrait like this as well, just to kind of get those lines going and get them on. Um, but uh, as I say, all I've basically done with this one, got a pair of pliers. So it's an old brush, got over the side of it like that, and kind of pulled it and crimped it out. And the same on the other side, just on the edge of it, pulled it and crimped it out. So it kind of splays it like a fan brush, really. The rake brushes you can buy um, on the market are fine. I say they're called rakes. Um, but again, they're very symmetrical and all the lines are like in the same kind of direction all the time. Okay, so there you go. That's my own little version of uh, sort of a rake brush. We can get a lot of detail down in one go. So I'll see you again soon and some more tips and tricks videos. Bye for now.